What's happening? It's Karma with CCC Flavors with uh, a little discussion today. Yes, indeed, doodly day. Aren't you guys excited? Yeah, I stole Ned Flanders' little thing there. Any hoobie doobie, we're going to talk about the Georgia Cannabis Industry Alliance uh, that we went to yesterday for 420. Yes, indeed. Oh, there was peace, love, and definitely good vibes flowing and flying and moving about. And there was a warm reception there, and everything was really chill and cool. So <clears throat> we got back. When we were there, Cinema Greens is where the location was. Was the location where the event was held? It's plant and decorations, rentals. That's the address. It's Cinema Greens. They do all the plants and cool designs for movies and props and things like that. And they have handmade plants, marijuana slash hemp slash cannabis plants that they have made. And uh, they're just freaking gorgeous. Like they look very real. And when you touch the buds, mm -hmm. this is no shit. They are fluffy, but I had to touch one. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> so I touched the bud. <laughs> yes, I did. I touched a bunch of buds. I couldn't help it. So there <laughs> it was pretty cool. But the buds were fluffy and it was very and there's some pictures on our page. If you scroll through our uh, our Facebook photos or whatever, you'll see them on there, um, which we shared them yesterday. Couldn't help it. Had to get that started. So we got this bag, and we got our T-shirts. Shout out to Cinema Green. You know, we're giving, giving the shout-outs where they start, right? So, bam. So we're giving them a shout-out. This is the front of the shirt. And they have made the largest... Bud, craftsman of the world. This is an eight foot tall, huggable bud that they have made. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm gonna roll it so you can see it a little better. Swinging. Okay, there we go. How's that look? Does that look okay, Sheila? Yep, looks good. Yeah. So they made these giant huggable buds, and I guess they they got an award for that too. And this is the shirt. This is the back of the shirt. So, you know, we're finna rock these shirts. <laughs> That's finna happen. <laughs> All right. Cinema Greens, they were the host for the event for the property they, where we uh, had the event. Super awesome. Super awesome. Really appreciate it. That was super great. Chill shirt. Boop. And we were a speaker there for the event. Boop, boop. 420 social event. Which is nice. And she's got her little pass back there, too. Oh, the passes. <clears throat> And uh, so if you guys have any questions about where the event was and the people involved with Cinema Greens, you can contact them and they do all kinds of uh, plant recreations and stuff like that for props and for offices. And I'm definitely going to be contacting them because I would like to have a couple of those beautiful buds in our stores up front. I think those little plants are just gorgeous and I would like to have a couple of them. So yeah, that would be super awesome. Okay. Also, shout out. To the, I think this guy's like my new favorite attorney. He is so outspoken. Yes, and just I love him. I love him. <laughs> really nice so, Mr. Chandler Walker, if you guys need a criminal defense attorney and you have anything at all, marijuana, hemp, or otherwise related, and you are in the Atlanta area or Georgia, this is the man you would like to speak to. Okay? This is his gift favor. This is his card. And what does it come with? I love this guy. Ooh. Boop! Papers. Thank you, bro. I'm finna roll one up here in a minute. I'll get to that in a second. Okay. Happy Easter, Ariel. Also, at the event was Blind Pig Beverages. Providing these wonderful little tea drinks. Mm -hmm. tea, tea drinks. Hey. <laughs> and they are super delicious. And their CBD infused slash drinks. Awesomeness. Super awesomeness. And of course, we've got a big one too. Hibiscus tea. And that's sweet. This is a hibiscus tea. I can't wait to try that one. It's going to be super duper awesome. They're different flavors, aren't they? <clears throat> yeah, there's all different kinds of flavors. No, the big ones and the little ones we got. Yeah, the little ones are uh, do, 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 uh, lemonade tea. And then the big one is a hibiscus tea. But they have all different kinds of tea. So if you're interested in any uh, cannabis-type teas, uh, CBD-wise, Blind Pig Beverages. 
super awesome company. They came out and they had free gifts and got to love, got to show support. We're in the other people show support, man. That's just how I am. And pushing this movement for the Georgia Cannabis Industry Alliance was the event for 420. And uh, really, really, really That's sweet good. opportunity, man. <clears throat> it is really good. They do really yeah. good. It's super good. I'm super stoked about it. Yeah. Um, it was a great event, you know, and, and I can't mention all the speakers. We do have a video that we posted on our page that you can watch. It's a little lengthy video because it has all the different speakers in it, but it is a must watch. Okay. Take the time and watch it. And not because I'm in it, because what I said was a very short amount of time compared to all of the other people who participated at the event that were speakers and what they had to say, uh, a lot of which was very moving. Uh, you know, Aaron Polk, man, that guy was inspirational, man, in his situation. Uh, and, and, and just hearing him talk about the situation, he is an adult and he is an excellent, he's a marketing director. He's a marketing director for the Georgia uh, Cannabis Industry Alliance. But his story was riveting, you know, and, and everybody had had awesome information to input. I don't want to ruin the video. I don't want to take away from it. So that's why I'm being careful what I'm saying right now because I want you to watch the video. Watch the video. Share the video. You know, marijuana is not a drug. And people keep saying it is. And I'm just at a point right now where I'm like, you know what? Beep, 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 explanative. Because it is, you know, profanity. <laughs> I want to use profanity because it is not, okay? It is not a drug. It never has been. That's like calling blueberries a drug. You know, if blueberries made people relax and chill, they would try to outlaw blueberries because it would take away from the pharmaceutical industry. I'm kind of going ham right now. I probably should have been as boisterous last night because there were people come up and be like, dude, you had a great message. You just, no one can hear you. <laughs> and I do talk softly. I kind of have one of those voices where if there's a mic, it'll pick me up and it'll broadcast me to whatever volume you put it at. But if you're counting on to hear me in the back of the room without a mic or the mic isn't up loud, you're probably not going to hear me. I don't have a voice like a duck. It doesn't echo. That's just a good voice. Yeah, it's a soft, I'm soft-spoken, I guess. So, yeah, sometimes you have to turn the volume up to hear me, you know. But it was, it was an awesome experience. It was really, really cool. And everybody there was really chill and friendly. And uh, it was cool. It was super cool. So... Hope to see you guys there next year or at any other event that we do in the future. And uh, I'm pushing for people's support with the uh, Georgia Cannabis Industry Alliance. And not just in Georgia, but in, in, this, in the United States as a whole, man. No matter where you're at in the world, fucking yay, you should be on board for marijuana. And, and, and although the new bill here in Georgia and around the world and, and with the federal government, industrial hemp, providing low amounts of extremely low amounts of THC, high amounts of CBD that help people. You know, it's like I said, I did a little video yesterday with podcast. Shout out to the rock star of podcast who uh, did a short little video with me. Um, and I told people, I said, it shouldn't be called medicine. And I, I, that's what I say. That is my view. And the reason I say that is because it's so natural opposed to things that are medicine that are man-made and they add stuff to it and stabilizers and stuff and things you know no man trees just they grow yes they're cultivated and they're made beautiful through hands-on love you know but nobody's adding anything to it to strengthen it lessen it it's growing in specific ways that's something that the pill industry can't do hey you know now they could take from the plant and they can make pills and add stuff to it and make you know placebo products and you know stronger strength things and whatnot but it is one of those things that all by itself is magnificent, you know? And I'm a man, I smell it. I love the way it smells. I love the way it tastes, the whole nine. <laughs> all the different strains and variations. I don't think there's any cannabis plant I've ever been like, that's disgusting, personally. Some people, they don't like the smell of it. But there may be a strain out there for you that you may like. You know, so you should, don't take my word for it. Try them all. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is, right? Got to be honest about it. Um, so that was, that's about the 420 Industry Alliance, and we need people to get on board with it because it is super cool, and it's going to help people. Not just because you want to get high, people. It helps people. You know, the, the movement isn't about getting high. 
There's so many people that are like, man, all they want to do is just get high. Man, I smoke industrial hemp all the time, and it's so low in THC that I don't get high. But I get the body effects. I get the chill. I, you know, depending on the strain, I get the, you know, the positives of it without getting lost in my head or having my thought process messed with in any way, shape, or form. I'm not influenced, so to speak, by it, you know, um, mentally. But everybody has their own. Some people need that kind of stimulation. Like I said in a little podcast thing I did, people need that kind of stimulation where they're like, you know, they want to get up and go. So they get high sativa, you know, high strength you know, get to moving, you know, or they get the indica base where they're like uh, lethargic and chill, you know, and just want to eat stuff and rob the refrigerator, <laughs> the refrigerator, by the way, because they're not doing anything else, you know, no one, no one does stupid stuff really on trees, you know, so <laughs> that's the reality of it, you know, people don't do dumb criminal acts on, on trees, it's not a drug, that's the point I'm trying to get across, you know, you can drink a bunch of coffee and get amped and crazy and wild, you know, but coffee's not regulated. It's a national fucking commodity, excuse my language, you know. You can buy and sell hemp and marijuana on the stock market. Think about that for a moment. Just think about that for a moment. It's it. The war is won, and they were saying last night, and there's something that stuck in my head. The war was won, people, okay? And when I say people, <laughs> I'm not talking about what I consider people as in people who aren't familiar with marijuana or cannabis. I mean people as people who have tried it, who understand it, who have a functional uh, understanding of it. You know, that's what I mean by people. We're the ones that know how it works and we should share that with other people. I think everyone should get a blunt, really. I'm working on a campaign where everyone should get a blunt. If you've never had a blunt, find somebody who smoked and say, hey, can I have a blunt or a joint? Can I have a bowl? Pack a bowl day or something. You know, because we got National 420, but like, pack a bowl day, you know, just like give everybody a bowl. Not a lot, just enough to let them hit it and try it. And once they try it, they're not going to get mentally whacked out of their head and all, you know, the way people make it. They're going to understand the whole peace, love movement. And it's, it's an experience because the body has an endocannabinoid system. Our body, our entire fiber is designed to enjoy this plant. Think about this for a minute. It almost makes it like maybe the Garden of Eden Tree of Life was a big freaking bud plant. Hi, Hunter. <laughs> you know, Hunter. Mm -hmm. uh, Lieutenant Gray is on right now. Hi, Lieutenant Gray. So <laughs> the point is that marijuana, I consider it like the Tree of Life. It's the only plant, you know, that to me helps people like that. You know, without having to be mastered, you know, so they should definitely decriminalize it. They should definitely make it available for everyone. And uh, happy Easter, Amy. How you doing? I'm getting the notes on the sidebar over here. So sorry if I don't respond real quick. Hey, Walk, how you doing? Do, do, do. Gary's like, hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Hey, Rodney, how you doing, man? I'm going through the night. Hey, Mike, how you doing? I didn't get a chance to uh, to talk to Mike. I, I seen his name in the listing, so I tagged you and I added you both. And uh, a friend of them is a friend of mine indeed, because we are friends together in this movement. That's just how it goes, right? So <clears throat> with that being said, um, if you're not familiar with the Georgia Industry Alliance, uh, whether you're part of the industry or not part of the industry, you'd like to be part of the industry, all you have to do is reach out, people. Make make the move towards the movement to decriminalize marijuana. You know? And and, and some people, like one of my friends I mentioned, they're like, dude, if they do that, they're going to kill your business. Dude, excuse my language, but fuck the business, bro. It's not about money. It helps too many people, man, you know? And there's other sides to business. People don't know how to use the plant still, you know? I mean, if you really just want to be about making money, show people how to use it to make it more effective. Cream, salves, edibles, tinctures, flavorings, uh, body lotions, bath bombs. I mean, there's, there's, it's endless, absolutely endless, the things that you can do with, with marijuana slash cannabis and all the different strains, you know? So they should definitely <laughs> not worry about the business side of it. Get it to the people. Then worry about how you can cultivate it to make it more functional. 
you know, business wise. Everybody always wants to, you know, my pockets are low and I need to make money, but you missed the whole point, man. You know, back in the day, man, you just gave people blunts. From when I was younger, I mean, I just tell it like it is, man. My first experience with weed, somebody handed me a joint because I was stressed out and I was young and I was in his car and he was like, here, you know, we called him Hippie Dave and it's no shit. I don't know, you know, that was his name, Hippie Dave. And he gave me a fucking joint. And you know what? Shout out to Hippie Dave, <laughs> you know, because it wasn't anything that ruined my life. I turned out to be a functioning adult, you know, and most people who smoke are, you know, it's not one of those things. It's like, it's not even like alcohol where people get drunk and beat their wife. Like, dude, that's the last thing you're going to do. The only thing you're going to fuck up is your refrigerator or a bag of Doritos. Like, really? Excuse my language, but that's the truth. <laughs> that's real. So now that I've ranted a little bit. <clears throat> I'm totally ranting a little bit. Just how yeah. Shout out to a local grower slash processor in Tennessee, Buffalo River, for this wonderful industrial hemp flower. And we have the spec on it from them. Gorgeous little specimen, isn't it? It is called CB Dog. Beautiful little strain. Nice earthy aroma to it. Almost like a caramely chocolate scent. When you first smell it, and uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Industrial hemp flower. It's 110 percent legal here in Georgia, and it's used to make all of the wonderful CBD oils and products that you get without THC. Because the THC level on this is not even existed. It doesn't even fall into a percent. And just so you don't, just in case you don't know, a percent means one part of a hundred. If you want to look up the definition for yourself. This doesn't even contain 1% of 100. It's actually in the negative decibels, like 0 0.04, 0 0.03, 0 0.07. For example, a lot of the CBD strains, it's minute. You would have to take, like, shit, a pound of this to make a gram of THC. Give you an idea, okay? And that's just a rough guesstimate number, depending on the strains, okay? This strain in particular is so low in THC, you could probably put this in a test kit and it comes back negative. <laughs> that's how low this is. <laughs> but I just wanted to shout out to uh, Buffalo River in Tennessee. This is some of the product that we have at our store in our Tennessee location in Eastridge. Uh, not here in Georgia yet until, until we get the go-ahead for retail for it with our cease and desist to the public. But... We are a corporation. We're a national entity. So it is what it is. All right. It smells so wonderful. <clears throat> so shout out to my friend, Mr. Walker Chandler, by the way. <laughs> Try the papers. Yep. Why not? Right. That's what the papers are for. So it, it's important as a movement for the product to do what's right, people. You know, everybody wants to worry about what other people put in their body. I mean, that's like you've never driven a jet. You've never flown a jet. Excuse me. You've never flown a jet. You've never driven a NASCAR. Okay? You can't tell somebody how to hold the steering wheel. Or you can't tell them how many Gs they need to hit or how fast they need to go to do whatever in a plane. And I'm not a pilot, but I'm just using it as an example. I can't even talk about it. That's my point. I'm not a pilot. I don't know how to fly. I don't even know where to begin to tell you where to freaking start. So why in the fuck should I have an opinion about it? Right? <laughs> Just saying. Now, if you know a pilot, which I have known pilots, I can say that pilots make pretty good money. Pilots, you know, keep hundreds of people safe. You know, they do the best that they can to drive that vehicle, so on and so forth. And if you want to know about how a plane flies, that's who you should talk to. You know, everything has a purpose, right? We cannot answer that right now. We're rejecting that. <clears throat> Sorry. 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 We'll call you back. Promise. Promises. Promises. But um, back to what I was saying. Everybody drives a car. But just because you can drive a car doesn't make you a NASCAR driver. Okay. You don't know what it means to pit. You don't know, you know, certain terminologies and things that matter to the function of the vehicle, the way it steers, the way it handles, you know. You, you may know how to drive, you know, 
but you're not a, you're not a race car driver, so you can't tell a race car driver how to do their how to do their job or advocate for anything other than giving race car drivers the ability to do what they do. So why am I saying this? Well, it's the same thing with marijuana and cannabis in general. If you've never tried it, you've never done it, you shouldn't be able to write a bill or a law about it. No, you should not. You should not be able to give your input about it because it's speculation at best, you know? And I'm not a lawyer, okay? But I'm pretty sure that hearsay is not admissible. I've heard that more than once. <laughs> and that's considered second person knowledge if you've never done something. So how can you give somebody your opinion? You can't. You absolutely can't. And if you have experience and you see the positive side of it and you lobby against it, then you're a hypocrite. I mean, it is, it is what it is. Absolutely is what it is. So enjoy, enjoy what you know. Share what you know. If you don't know, learn about it. Why not? Right? If you don't know, love yourself, love other people, right? Because <laughs> that's what it comes down to. Yeah. I mean, it would be so selfish to keep this to myself, what I know about it. You know, I want other people to experience it. The same way I pushed with vaping, or the way I still push with vaping, is the same way I'm pushing for this movement. I think that everyone should try it. You know? And I can promise you. <laughs> from experience there are no overdoses from marijuana you know you might think you're gonna die you may get you know a little panic attack whatever the case may be you know because you can't eat enough <laughs> she said because you can't eat enough but I mean the reality is there's no real negative side effect to it you know set a couple hours aside in your day on vacation whatever the case may be everybody loves vacations smoke a joint and if you're not better for it then you smoke with the wrong person first of all that has a lot to do with it. You don't want to smoke by yourself. That's boring anyway. That's right. Kind of a best kill, you know, because you want to talk to people. You want to get engaged normally when you smoke, you know, and be by yourself. You, is, pain, like you know, myself. yeah, unless you just, you know, yeah, taking pain and stuff like that, you know, self remedy. I don't, like I said, I'm trying to avert, avoid the word medication. I just, I really have a, I hate that. I don't hate it. Hate's a strong word. I hate the word hate. But I dislike the word Medicaid because it almost it's puts it into a classification as a drug. Medication is a word a associated with drug. And it's, it's if you've ever smoked place. it before, it helps you. It really helps you. <laughs> but at the same time, it shouldn't be sold. And I don't know. Anytime I think medication, I think CVS. And by the way, CVS and Walgreens, yeah, guess who's putting patents on CBD oil right now to sell on their shelves? Yeah. CVS and Walgreens, and that's why a lot of the a lot of the uh, bills and things like that they're being financed by those company owners. All right, there's a lot going on in the background, you know, like Marinol is a, uh, a synthetic form of THC that they give to patients, you know, uh, and they're working on pill forms of CBD, but nothing can compete with plants. This is natural; it's all natural. Plants are awesome. Absolutely awesome. The stream, the stream is lagging. The stream is lagging a little bit? Yeah. Somebody hating on a stream? That's not that's Lieutenant Gray. Oh, Lieutenant Gray said the stream is lagging? Yeah. Somebody's hating on our stream. He's not hating on himself. Not him. I'm just saying, like, oh, the, somebody. the somebody, something's happening. Facebook yeah. is about to try to block us and take yeah. us down. <laughs> Facebook's going to try to take us down right now, and I, I'm not okay with that. Fuck you, Facebook. I'm in Facebook jail a lot. I remember this one time at Bandcamp. <clears throat> There's this horrible company called Facebook. I'm just playing. They're the ones that are making this live video possible. We should give them a shout out. We love Facebook. Yes, we love Facebook. Don't take our video you. down, Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Don't block us, Facebook. We're getting another wireless call right now. I should probably just start taking these calls. CCC Flavors, you're live. Uh, yes, I was just calling to see if y'all are open today. We are open today. All right, and you're in Dalton, Georgia. We are in Dalton, Georgia. 500. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Do y'all sell coals for the High Georgia Captain? We do. All right. Um, well, I certainly thank you. We've been looking all day for a vape store that's local that's open, but everybody's closed because it's Easter, so. 
All right. Well, I certainly appreciate it. Yeah, everybody's closed but us, I guess. I, I keep, you're like the third person to call today, man. And vaping is a movement, man. We're trying to help people, you know? So. That's a good thing because yesterday I had my junk in my pocket and it went off, you know, and the next thing you know, the whole truck smelled like something burnt. I'm like, oh, shit, my vape's going off in my pocket. And trying to get a call on the Oh, man. Yeah, putting your vape in your pocket, man, that's super dangerous. You know, that is really dangerous. I'm a dangerous guy. <laughs> all right my friend thank you see you soon all right see no vape stores are open on easter yeah the i joy captain no ccc flavors you're live hello what time do you close uh today our hours are varied uh, but normally we're open until 10 p.m. Are you local? So, so, I'm sorry? Are you in Dalton? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're open right now. You can come on in. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I'll go open the door. Our hours may be, yeah. I'm going to go door. open the door. Yeah, you got to open the door. See, so, this is what happens. People need vape products and no other stores open and they don't want to be open because it's Easter or whatever and they're spending time with their family and that's cool. You know what I mean? Everybody's got to have a little break. But what happens if you need a coil like that guy? He had his vape and it burned his coil and now he's stuck. You can't vape until tomorrow. What's easier for him to do? Go to the corner store and grab a fucking pack of cigarettes. You know? No. That's a negative thing. That shouldn't have to happen. That's an example of providing. See, this business isn't about profit. This business is about helping people. That's why I started this company. It's about helping people and providing options to people to get away from things that are harmful to them. Cigarettes are harmful as fuck. I'm going to go open the store. Let yeah. Lieutenant Green know that we'll be there shortly. Okay, Lieutenant Green, we'll be there in a little bit. No, correct. Gray. He's calling Green. Green. Oh, Gray. You should change your name to Green. <laughs> Lieutenant Green. <laughs> Hunter, Hunter, Hunter. So we're live today, doing a little video. A little, I'd like to do some Q and A. Oh, we got like nine comments down here. Do, 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 do. Sheila, happy day, hippie Dave. Yeah, hippie Dave. Looking forward to more active supporters and enforcing our rights. Do, 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 do. Same here. Thanks y'all for coming out. Boom, love that comment. Thank you, Mr. Rodney Yarbrough. You're the shit. We appreciate you. Jamie Mitchell, where do we at? <laughs> She's looking for a free sample. No, you're not. You weren't joking, Jamie. We know you weren't joking. It's okay. No one's judging you. <laughs> uh, we are going to be doing a grand opening in our Tennessee location. And uh, I don't have an exact date set for that. But when we do, we are going to be giving away free raw blunts of CBD flour. First come, first serve, while supplies last is what we're going to do. And, of course, you'll have to be of legal smoking age in the state of Tennessee uh, with a valid ID. And uh, we will verify your identification. And if you are of legal smoking age, you will be given a free raw blunt with the admittance for the uh, grand opening. So we want to blow. I want to blow out. I want so many people there that we can't even... They're parking around the block for miles. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that we're not joking about. It's really going to happen, people. Okay? Because that's how that we roll. So like, I really believe everybody should have a blunt. I'm serious and about it. I'm going to go that far away. Everybody's going to get a blunt. Blunt, 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 blunt. We're in Tennessee. Uh, Stanley, we are, we are on at 5611 Ringgold Road in Eastridge, Tennessee, which is like South Chattanooga, if you're familiar with the area. And we're in Suite 125. We got a big black sign with a with a, a with a cannabis leaf on it and it says vape slash CBD hemp slash oil. You know, so we have hemp oil but we also have hemp industrial hemp flour. Yes, indeed. <laughs> So come on and see us. And our hours there are different than our store here until we get things ramped up and moving and do our grand opening. As of right now, we're open from 2 p.m. until 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Sundays we're closed there. 
and holidays were always closed there at that location until we get things ramped up. And then we'll have the same kind of hours we have here. Okay. Where we're open on holidays and so on and so forth. So, cause the idea is to help people, but you know, I'm not an Island. I try to say this over and over again. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not an island. I'm not one man on an island. I really, I, I, I need and I like to have support because it's not about me. This, this shit's not about me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just a participant in this wonderful universe, you know? And no matter how much the universe pushes me and pulls me, I want to be alone in it. I'd like to bring people with me. I like to push people in front of me and ahead of me. Everyone has their place. And I can't be everywhere at once. That's ridiculous, right? To even try to do. But I want that, like my desire is to be everywhere all at once to help people with industrial hemp, cannabis, marijuana, vape, things that help people, you know, our, our movement. But at the same time, I can't be, I can't be everywhere. And it takes, it takes a village to, to accomplish a goal. You know, the Amish people build a barn. They, it's not just one guy with a hammer, man. The whole town goes out there and put that thing up in a day. You know, I, I, I'm guessing on that. I think they go up pretty quick. I told you. <laughs> right. In a day. In a day. They can put the it up. Yeah, yeah. The whole community comes together to do that. Yeah. It's gotta be the same way with this kind of a movement, man. It takes people to make, something happened you know it absolutely does and uh can't do that by yourself hey damon what's up man hope you're having a super awesome day you have a lighter over there yes i do that too oh i would like one okay <laughs> <laughs> Okay, towards the end of the video, office. Yeah, that's good. Oh, okay. I thought he was telling me. Okay. Okay. So, as I was saying, life is good. <laughs> Very good. <clears throat> Very good. <clears throat> it tastes really good. That tastes really good. Shout out again, Buffalo River in Tennessee. That is some really nice taste in CB Dog. CB it's CBD, but their play on is CB Dog. Yeah, that's their play on it, which is super awesome. All right, some good stuff. That tastes good. Nice little metal clip on it. Tastes pretty good, people. Tastes pretty good. So if you have not tried CBD flour and you're interested in CBD flour, you can come to our Tennessee location. We have it for sale by the gram, prepackaged. Um, we're working on larger sizes and many different types of CBD strains to, to give people options. We have CBD oils. We have salves. We have uh, the tinctures, of course, and a couple different flavors. We have a couple vape products currently. Uh, we're working on expanding that collection. If you are in the industry and you have product that you would like to get on our shelves or have us promote it, send it. <laughs> you guys know how I do my reviews. I do reviews. Uh, of course, I'm not doing it every day. I'm not trying. The reason I don't is I don't like the idea of blowing up everybody's timelines. Every time they freaking go on their timeline, it's me. Hi, it's me, and I've got something to try to tell you about or whatever. You know what I mean? I, I try not to do that because it's just, to me, that's annoying. When I see somebody's like post like four or five times a day, I'm just like, and it's the same kind of message or the same kind of thing. I'm like, I get it. You've got drive. You've got initiative. You need to be doing more marketing campaigns for other people and whatever you're doing. Great, you know, but. At the same time, I don't want to blow people's stuff up. I don't want to be that guy where somebody goes, man, this guy again. You know, like that's just messed up to me, you know, personally. So I don't try to unindate people with that. However, I do want to get the message out there. <laughs> so that's why we are doing what we're doing with our video right now. And we will showcase your product. We want, we want you if you have anything to do with CBD or vape,
contact us, right? And say, hey, we got this product. We want this product on your shelves, okay? And if you're in this industry to help people, you know, we're here to help people too. We, we try to give away as much stuff as we sell. I mean, that's the reality of it, you know? So yeah, while we do make purchases from distributors and from companies that sell products, you know, if, if, if your pricing is ridiculous and it doesn't, I don't feel it fits a need, like I've actually had to tell a couple vape companies, for example, well, I didn't even tell them. I was just polite about it. I just didn't contact them anymore. We're not putting the product on the shelf anymore. If I feel like you're about money and you'll sidestep me to do whatever it is you're going to do, you know, to, to boost your product, you really don't have an interest in, in it for real. You're just trying to get money. I'll stop. I'll just stop contacting you because I'm not about that. I don't care about that. You know what I mean? Yeah, money. It takes money to function, so on and so forth. But the being able to help somebody, you can't put a price tag on that. You just fucking can't. <laughs> so if you're in the industry, vaping or CBD-wise, and you have product you want to get out to people, by all means, contact us. We'll work something out. We'll talk about it. We'll get the product out there and get it in the hands of people because that's what matters. You know, people, people, us, we're people. I'm a people. I'm a people. Are you, are you a people, Sheila? I'm a people. She's a people. I'm pretty sure most people watching this and sharing this are people's too. Definitely people's. Yeah, people's are aliens. If you're not people's, you're not from this planet. That's okay. We will accept aliens, aliens too. Yeah, aliens are cool. I don't think I've ever met any. At least they didn't tell me they were aliens. Have you ever met an alien? Put that in the comments. Tell us about it. I'm just bow guarding it. Puff, puff, ass, motherfucker. What am I doing? Hitting it, hitting it. But it's good and it's clean, you know. And when you smoke CBD, you feel it behind your eyes. You feel like anywhere you have your pain, like I get a pain right here in my back, in my lower back, and it feels warm right there. And the pain goes away, you know. If I have one of my little panic attacks or whatever, PTSD, panic attacks, and I'm stressed out, you know, there's been times, man, where I've jumped up, standing straight up on the bed, just ready to fight. You know, like war mode, right? And just my heart's just, and I'm sweating, and I'm just ready to go. And before, I didn't have a choice but to go do PT. I didn't have a choice but to go run something, <laughs> get out and about. You know, now I can jump up, roll up a CBD uh, joint, or hit my CBD vape a couple times, and you get a... <sighs> that literally happens, just like that, that deep breath. When that happens, the stress, the anxiety, the, the, the nervousness, just everything, just you get this mellow plateau, you know, this, this mellow place, and all that goes away, you know? And that feeling right there when you're in pain or, or you're, you're having that anxiety attack or whatever the case may be, once you experience that, you can't go back from that. You will take that bottle of pills, you will look at it, and you'll go, man, fuck this shit. And you know what I mean? But your doctor prescribed it to you, and you're supposed to take it. And you know, now there are some instances where some people's pain is extreme, you know, and, and it doesn't, and sometimes it might not help. I mean, that's just the reality of it. So if it's, if it's extreme or, you know, your body can only process, you know, because you've been taking narcotics for so long, you're not going to get the effect you might be looking for. I mean, it, it can happen. Everybody's a little different. Everybody's endocannabinoid system is different. It's not the same. You know, we all process things differently. Okay, here's a good question from Kara. All right, let's answer this question for Kara Jordan, okay? She says, does that CBD flower help better with stress than edible CBD using 1,000 milligram gummies bit touching it? But touching it, uh, not including my stress. Okay, so check this out, right? When it comes to CBD, okay, and the endocannabinoid system, the body can only process so much CBD at a time. I'll give you all a quick lesson, real quick, while I'm at it, okay? Just like any other vitamins that you take, your body's going to use what it can use, and it expels the rest of it. Okay, so like if you take. Uh, 
uh, oh, and the body can only process, depending on who you are, between 100 and 278 or something milligrams of CBD. Like, that's the span. Anything above that is waste. It goes right out of your system, okay? So if you take a 1,000 milligram gummy, you're only going to experience up to that maximum yield your body can accept, and the rest of it is goes through, okay? But it guarantees you processing it at 1,000 milligrams. You know, the difference between the edibles and the smoke is your lungs, when you breathe it and you inhale it, it goes in through your capillaries and your blood system directly into your blood that way, okay? And it disperses, but you exhale a lot of it, okay? But when you eat it, you ingest it into your body, your body processes it differently, just like it would broccoli or anything else that you eat. Okay, and it takes a little longer to hit you. Some people's like five, ten minutes. Some people's like an hour, hour and a half. You know, that's why they say edibles are dangerous for people who take high dosages of it because you can get higher levels of THC than you can CBD because it has a stronger effect. You know, people notice that a lot more, so to speak. All right. So, yeah, when it comes to THC, you want to be very careful with edibles compared to smoke because you can get a lot and no you're not going to die you know what i mean you're not going to overdose at all by any means make yourself sick. but you'll make yourself feel sick yeah, yeah. you sick can feel belly. sick yeah mm -hmm. and with too much cbd you get a headache that's like worst case scenario you get a headache it's magic see it's just floating we will make it spin we helicopter. I identify as a helicopter today. <laughs> My teacher said I could be anything I want to be. I'm a helicopter. All right. <laughs> so about the edibles. If you eat gummies, your body's going to process it differently. You can definitely max out on the amount of CBD that you need. It can be more beneficial for you than inhaling a combustible carrot. So if you're worried about inhaling uh, smoking trees because it's combustible and your lung health and all of that, then that is a very valid uh, concern, absolutely valid concern. And in that case and in that way of thinking, edibles are better than smoking. Okay. However, like I said, there's that other there's that other effect to it. You'll have to eat. And eat it and eat it and wait for the effects. Where with this, if it's like a stress and anxiety thing, you hit this a couple times, bam. You know? Like I'm just spinning it on the stick right now. Because I, I feel I feel medicated by it. You know? Medicated. There's that damn word again. See? And it's because the industry has pushed medicated so many times. Remedy. I am self remedied. <laughs> medicated. Okay. So Kara, edible, much better option for you because I know that you're a vape advocate too and vaping is far better than smoking combustibles and edibles are awesome and you have lots of options with that. I met a couple illegal aliens. Does that count? Richard Deary. Uh, I guess that's a different kind of uh, alien we were talking about. Those are still technically peoples. Yep. But... Awesome. Awesome. Did you give them shelter? <laughs> Jamie Ma Jamie Mitchell, critical mass. Okay, care joint. So my role, the dry flower instead of the CBD vape juice, question mark. Um, I guess it's about, you know, how you want it, how you want to ingest it. I mean, if it's CBD oil and you're vaping it, it has the same kind of effect as the plant itself, except it's more concentrated. Because when you vape it, you're getting more of what you're looking for, you know, which is the CBD. You know, that's that's isolate turned into a vape form, you know, opposed to the, uh, I don't know, it's not chlorophyll, chlorophyll and other things that are inside of the other combustibles that are inside of it, you know? But for anxiety and stress, yes. I didn't have CBD. Yeah. I would be a very cranky person. And we do vape it. Yeah, we do. Vape way it. more we than vape we it. smoke it like this. <laughs> and it comes in all different kinds of flavors, which is super awesome. Right. You know, so like if I want like a custard flavor or you know, like our line, we have we have the, the pink lemonade, vanilla milk, 
power surge. Like we have all those different kinds of flavors. Applejack, Applejack Virginia. People really like that one a lot. <clears throat> you know, the sour gummies and the sour gummy. That was like the our number gummies. one. People really like the sour gummy. It's just super, power super surge. awesome. It's just mm -hmm. So yeah, it'll definitely uh, help with your with your anxiety and stress for sure, Kara. Definitely. Hey Donna, how you doing? Hope you're having a super blessed Easter. <clears throat> that is such a cool, cool, cool little invention right there. So yeah, we're we're on the topic today of uh, industrial hemp flower slash marijuana. And uh, we we're just kind of having Georgia. discussion. And our movement to change Georgia into yeah, letting yeah. us have our rights. To yeah, what we want to do. Stop! Stop As trying to con list. trying to make us you know conform to what they want. If you have not okay. seen the video from last night, <clears throat> please do watch. You gotta watch that video. Yeah. You you gotta watch that video. It's worth the watch. It's you know it can be a little lengthy it's for a video, but it's not as long as like a movie or something. You know what I mean? It's a little shorter than that. But it's got a lot of really great information in it. And everybody in there, in that video that was a speaker, is talking about what they know, experience. what they've experienced. It's not just a panel of random-ass people, you know, where there's like, hey, do you know about trees? Well, come talk about it. No. Everybody had something functional and brought something to the table. Because the movement... And it's is based on street junkies that want to get high. Right. It's not yeah. about people They're just not. wanting to get high. They're that's the best right part about it. The people that's in the video, where they come from, and who they are. Yeah. And, you know, they're not hotheads. Mm -hmm. They're not drug addicts. And yeah. there's something else. There's another line that, that, I, that I thought about later, and it's, you know, like, Georgia was pushing for the cannabis oil based on children in need. Okay? That even though it's a move forward, I get it. It's helping kids. I love kids. I think kids need the help. They do need the parents need to step up, do it for the kids. But at the same time, that is a crutch. It is a lean. Do this for us because it's a sympathy thing. But the old people, right? The old people, they're not little kids, and they need it just as damn bad. It helps with dementia. Yeah. And, uh, well, that one story, what was stuff. that one lady that came in here? There's a lady that came into our store, and her her, her father yeah. has Alzheimer's horribly. But she smoked with him, and he remembered her freaking name and things that were happening right after he smoked like he didn't even have it. That floored me. That's good. Absolutely that. floored me. Because, I mean, when somebody's got Alzheimer's, I mean, like, that's it. Like, you know, you think that's going to be it for them. You walk in the room, you're a stranger. That is all, that, I couldn't imagine that with one of my parents. That would crush my heart, man. You know, like, I'm your, I'm your son. I, what do you mean you don't remember me? You know what I mean? Or I'm your grandkid. You don't remember me. Like, you can't explain that. But then you smoke with them, and all of a sudden their memories are there. They didn't actually go anywhere. They just, there was a disconnect in their neural receptors. That's where the THC came into play. Okay? Because neural, THC is a neural inhibitor. That means it strengthens those neural connections. It makes new bonds. Something like that. Right? Yeah. I don't know if I use it correct. I'm not a doctor. But I know it has something to do with those neural things when they connect. Neural, yeah, neural. <laughs> and they don't fire properly. Sort of like and THC reverses, increases the firing. It reverses the... Mm -hmm. The effect uh, yeah. from the Alzheimer's and the dementia. Yeah, because yeah. it fires different parts of the brain. And uh, I've been learning about that because I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I, I want to start teaching people about it. I've been studying the endocannabinoid system and all different receptors and, and we're going to have tickets stuff. for uh, to hold a seminar. We are. We have the seminar on the 27th that we're selling the tickets for. And yes. all of the money goes towards the proceeds for this for this movement. We ain't putting none of it in our pocket to go buy new shoes or no dumb shit like that. It's going straight into the movement. And and, and we have our Facebook page, or excuse me, on our website, cccflavors.com. We got it. <clears throat> we have a donation link. You can donate to the cause. And all the money that goes into that for donation goes directly towards this movement. And this is getting the product to get the people who want it, slash need it, slash get people, help people. That's what we do. That's what we do. So <laughs> that's, what we do. that's what we do. So we love the support. We want to support other people. And I know that I'm not the only person out there that feels that way, you know. And that's why we're doing this little live today. We're kind of just going. And this is a longer live video that I've done in quite a little while, by the way. 
and I'm kind of loving it, you know? So that's why I'm just going off with it. Mm. I keep lighting it in Bogart. I don't need it. I didn't drink that tea. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, she drank the tea. I, drank well, I don't need it either, but I like mm -hmm. it. So I love the taste and the smell mm -hmm. of cannabis. Yeah. I don't I really do. <clears throat> it's like, it's my cologne. <laughs> I guess, you know. <clears throat> I mean, you know, not to take anything away from, you know, all the different wonderful cologne manufacturers, but you could figure this one out. I would buy that bottle all day long. Uh, yeah. Rock it. I smell marijuana. I'm like, no, you don't. You smell industrial hemp flower. <laughs> and you don't know the difference because you're not properly trained because, well, they haven't done that yet. And you know what? If any of the city commissioners or anybody wants to get with me, the mayor of Dalton or anyone that's important or power, you want to get with me and talk with me and you want me to put an education together, there is a difference between industrial hemp flower and marijuana. There's a lot of differences. And I'd be happy to educate and help with that. Because you know what? It's an injustice for a cop to pull somebody over you know what I mean? That has whatever whatever they're using the product for, just being a human being. And then being harassed, have their car torn apart and treated like they're selling freaking heroin. You know? And there's a big difference. A big difference. And we would like to help with that education process. I do hear a car door. I hear like four car doors. I enjoyed you and your video. Okay. Um, All right. So that's how we're rocking. <laughs> if, if you guys want help with the movement, that's what we're here for. And if, if, you know, I just, I think it's a tragedy, honestly. I keep saying over and I'm going to use the word tragedy. Tragedy is, I'm just going to coin that word. Hashtag people tragedy. Okay. Hashtag people tragedy. It's sad. It's just really, really, really sad that bottom line, cops are pulling people over. They're tearing their cars apart. They're putting people in jail. Right. And, you know, they're separating families, you know, they're taking the breadwinner away in some instances, whether it's male or female, you know, single moms out there, you know, kids end up in foster care over there. You know what I mean? Like there's, it, it are treating like a criminal endeavor. And, and the bottom line is it, it isn't, there's actually a positive place for it, you know, and I don't have a problem. I'll, I'll teach classes on it. I'm not even asking for a fucking paycheck. How about that? You have somebody who is seasoned and educated and still learning. I don't know everything, but I know a lot more than the average bear. And definitely these police officers pulling people over, making their lives a living hell, making people's lives a living hell because they don't know the difference. And I would love to take the time to educate. And by the time I'm done, they'll know the difference. And all that I smell marijuana crap needs to stop because that is, that's just retarded, you know? I get it. You're trying to use it as a, and here's where the word gateway comes in. They're trying to use it as a gateway to look for other things. I smell marijuana. And then they get in the car and they're looking for pills, coke, whatever, you know, anything they can to try to make their, make their nut for the day, I call it, you know, but reality is that people are people, man. They're going to do what they're going to do. And if they're putting something into their body, that's their choice for real, like real talk, you know, but this way better. No matter what form, whether you eat it, drink it. I mean, you can take this right here, right? I can take this. Think about this for a minute, right? I can take this and I can take a hot press and I can squeeze it. And it'll put out a beautiful golden color, amber colored resin that I can put into a vape device or liquefy with a low temperature and vape, eat smoke, whatever I want. I can also take it and I can put it in dry ice and in a little, in a little me micron mesh bag and shake it and all the trichomes fall off it and I can use that to add to my food and, and, and get my remedy that way. Or, right, <laughs> I could take it and put in one of those volcano vaporizers and it heats it to a certain temperature and everything vapes off of it and you can vape it. There's tons and tons of ways. I could take it and I could squeeze it and pull the juices out of it and then put it into a cream. I could just grind this up in a blender and sprinkle it on my salad like oregano. 
How about that? Well, I mean, there's tons of ways to use this product, you know, and and it and and it's so sad that you know because somebody smokes it and that's how they decide to use it, it becomes a tragedy. And now you know they're going to go to jail for possession of marijuana or whatever the case may be. You know, stupid, absolutely stupid, 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 <laughs> super stupid. You know. Could you imagine if, like, diabetes was a crime and they started to, you know, they, they felt that, let's say they said diabetes is a terrible thing and because people have diabetes, we're going to outlaw sugar. But if you get caught with a piece of candy, it looks remotely close to candy, you're going to jail because it's going to cause diabetes. <laughs> I mean, that's, that makes about as much sense as them saying that <laughs> marijuana is an illegal product. I mean, really. Real talk. It's stupid. It's super stupid. You drink alcohol, you can't function. It gets to a point where you can't. You and what's really messed up is you think you can function. You know, you you think you can function, and you know, you dangerous shit. <laughs> but with trees, you don't do that. You know, what I mean, I've never. So you know, nobody wants to go jump off a building after they smoke. I mean, there's no real ill No, everything's logical. You think about everything. Too when you smoke, the higher levels of THC, the more in your head you get. You know, and that's why some people just stare off in space. And it, it looks like nothing's happening, but believe me, there's a lot going on in there. And when they get done, they might come up with an idea to use water to power their vehicle for the next six years. I, I don't know. I'm just hypothetical here. <laughs> <clears throat> Question. Okay. Okay. So we're going to crash this live video real quick and uh, I will be back in a minute. Peace, love, chill, spread the good vapes and the good vibes and I'll be back in a minute. He said he has a stick. He's the, the guy that came in the other night. Yes. They couldn't mm -hmm. find him.